वेलकम टू प्रिया स्कॉनर टुडे आई हैव विद मी अ कॉपी ऑफ गुलाम नबी आजाद ऑटोबायोग्राफी टाइटल आजाद दिस बुक इज गोइंग टू बी रिलीज्ड इन द कैपिटल ऑन द फिफ्थ बट वी हैव अ प्रीव्यू कॉपी विद अस एंड इट्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग इन फैक्ट it is a tell all book and all the congress leaders who thought that gulam nabi azad had told all in the many interviews he did once he left the congress well unfortunately for the congress he has a lot more to tell there is a very interesting chapter in the book also i think uh, which is entitled the grand old parties bloopers and bombast so naturally that's the chapter i opened first and actually that's the only chapter i managed to read so i'm going to talk a little bit about it not surprisingly he begins with the g23 theme about how he's in the, we did not when we attacked the congress he's saying they all thought oh we are going the bjp way but our move uh, whole idea was to strengthen the congress not weaken it by raising these issues he then takes a dig at some entry uh, at some colleagues who made a lateral entry into the party but who were advising us not to kick the ladder that we um, uh, had climbed up on uh, if you see the asterisks the references to an editorial written by salman khurshid in the times of india and he says that look uh, he tells khurshid look we did not kick the ladder we were the ladder past step part of the steps of the ladder that the congress was built on and talks about the many sacrifices that he had made uh, and the work that he had done as general secretary as a youth congress leader down to the fact that when his wife was in hospital he ignored her at the cost of the party he uh, for the party he even um, ignored his own father who was in his deathbed because um, uh, he was got a call from sonia gandhi the cyclone has struck in orissa and she said he had to go and um, oversee because the chief minister giridhar gomang was not really doing a good job so gulam nabi says i left with to sent my father to srinagar from aims and i went to um, orissa bhubneshwar landed there he said with just two sets of clothes I, there was i had to actually walk to the guest house there roads were in a bad shape everything was so the trip took longer than two days and of course he said i was just washing the clothes in the morning and wearing them and so on and so forth but at the end of the day he saying he actually got to see his father only on the last day just before he passed away so those are the kind of sacrifices he's made so he said i was hurt when leaders target me and accuse me my intentions and our intentions of the g23 because most of us have actually worked hard in the party and are you know uh, are properly committed to the congress and the rise of the congress Uh, he then talks about what went wrong, and in fact, you know, Gulam Nabi is one of the few last congressmen, uh, former congressmen, who could trace his rise to Indira Gandhi's cabinet. So uh, his uh, pedigree to the Indira Gandhi's cabinet. So he, in fact, talks about the Kamraj plan and said that actually weakened uh, the party a lot because strong regional leaders were replaced by appointees of the center. Inter- interestingly, he says, you know, I was always wondering what was the reason behind the Kamraj plan. Finally, I asked. Uh, he says the former president with a fantastic memory, which of course is Pranab Mukherjee. Ki kya tha? Re- real reason behind the kamraj plan he says that pranam mukherjee told him but that secret will go to my grave so i wonder i mean i thought it was the obvious that indira gandhi wanted to have complete control over the party but gulam nabi says otherwise he also hints uh, not since he states that uh, the practice of you know having elections in the congress president every two years was a good practice that was done away with when um, uh, after indira gandhi came and of course uh, sonia and rahul he saying um, that was started from 1940 and in fact the only time they were, were a president got a six year term was maulana azad from 1940 to 46 because of quit india movement he was in j- faced a jail term and he saying that is a habit which has not been picked up by the bjp they changed the president well not recently mr azad but more or less they do have elections and it encourages other leaders and all regions to be represented and in that sense it is a good practice then he goes on to say he talks about the fact that um, why the congress is weakened and people who think that you know this is the 77 loss congress that loss it came back so now it will come back again he saying you make a couple of mistakes when you say that the first of course was a strong leader like indira gandhi who even in opposition toward the states uh, met everybody uh, did not just rest uh, uh, and wait for you know anti incumbency to come in well rahul is now doing that with his bharat jodo uh he also talks about the fact that at that time congress had a very strong organization in all the states and there were not that many regional parties now that space has been ceded by the congress to regional parties so it will be difficult for the congress to climb back at that time he saying there was only tamil nadu which had had aidmk and dmk but now of course we have a host of regional parties that have replaced the congress in almost all the states except rajasthan madhya pradesh so that is going to be a big um, stumbling block as he sees it in the congress uh, comeback 
he also talks about then he goes state by state and that's very interesting you know, the why the congress fell say in up he seemed on bihar he seemed to strong leaders like jagannath mishra like veer bhadra singh bagun and bahuguna were replaced bahuguna and uh, veer bhadra were replaced by nd tiwari and um, jagannath was replaced by various uh, chief ministers who were not as strong as he was he talks about amrinder's ouster which is very interesting he says that uh, you know it was not a state led clp meeting but a center sponsored clp meeting that wo- voted amrinder out and very interestingly he talks about hemanta biswa sharma he says that i was the general secretary in charge and he says that uh, hemanta had been promised by tarun gogoi in 2007 that the next time congress comes back to power he will make hemanta the chief minister in 2006 the congress came back to power but gogoi reneged on his promise he reneged on his promise even in 2011 which is when hemanta then came and met uh, uh, gulam nabi azad and put forward his case he uh, came with 45 mlas to the state uh, so sorry he went and i think met sonia gandhi and put forward his case and sonia uh, told gulam nabi to go to assam and take a look so gulam said let me first meet the people in delhi and call the people in delhi and ascertain the situation before i go to assam so he asked hemanta to bring his mlas hemanta brought 45 mlas he then called gogoi gogoi sent about 7 mlas so he says it's clearly uh, hemanta has the strength he told sonia sonia said please go ahead to assam and change the chief minister this is what gulam is writing in his book but before that rahul gandhi stepped in and he saying there is no way if hemanta wants to go let him go and that he says is a reason why the congress lost an important leader and eventually uh, the state of assam and almost all of the northeast also so that's an interesting uh, story of course Hemanta Biswa himself is such a colorful character that you know a uh, uh, larger than life um, uh, persona so anything about him makes news so the, uh, Gulam Nabi Azad has told us about him he also talks about various states uh, like uh, Tamil Nadu and uh, Karnataka and basically UP Bihar in UP he talks about the alliances then he says how alliances um, congress is now using regional alliances like crutches and he talks about the alliance with the BSP in, two, in 1993 when Rao was there and he saying we gave away almost 300 seats to uh, that time UP was not divided to the BSP and that is the big mistake that Congress made uh, at that time and he says though I think he was the general secretary uh, or he was somewhere in charge but he saying the decision was also taken by Jitendra Prasad and he was also the civil aviation minister at that time he says so interestingly he and of course the Telangana breakup he saying when the div- decision to divide Telangana was made most Congress leaders were not for it but they never openly voiced their dissent so the uh, center went ahead and divided Telangana then they all spent the time camping in Delhi trying to become chief minister instead of going to the state and taking credit for the division saying that you know uh, in telangana at least that we got your state he said chandrashekar rao made that move and the congress lost the state so interesting um, uh, uh, book for those who are um, uh, you know followers of congress history um, some revelations but more or less you know it's a interesting read or a take on the congress from an insider an insider who is clearly very upset and very bitter but having said that it is an interesting book to read and also very interesting the book uh, the blurbs at the back are all from uh, harivan who the deputy chairman rajya sabha piyush goel bupender yadav kapil sibal who has now left the congress derek o'brien who is with the tmc and tiruchi siva who is with the dmk so shows gulam nabi azad's reach over the political spectrum and of course as i said it is uh, i think um, congress leaders should be careful before going to the book launch because uh, clearly gulam nabi azad is in a very tell all uh, leave no stone unturned mood so i think um, his book launch will be an interesting one to watch at least the book itself is uh, interesting for as i said followers of congress history for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon